Hi, I'm Nathan, and I'm a graduate student at The Ohio State University College of Nursing. The topic today is how to get rid of those medications that you just don't need anymore. They might be medications you don't take, or it could be medications that are expired. Now, I'm doing this video from a patient's home because that's where we keep our medications. And it's not uncommon for me to go into a patient's home and to find medications that are in a big bowl, similar to this. And as I start digging through these medications, I find that some of them are expired, or some of them the patient just no longer takes. The question is, how do we safely get rid of that medication? The Food and Drug Administration has a wonderful website, www.fda.gov. In that website, they explain exactly what the recommended ways are to get rid of medications. And I'm going to recap those here. The first way is through drug take-back programs. Every city, state, and the federal government has drug take-back programs, and you can find resources to when they are at www.fda.gov. Another way you can get rid of medications is the way you got them. We all get our medications from a pharmacist. We go to a pharmacy, we get those medications, and those pharmacists are more than willing to take those medications back. So you take your medication, you take it to the pharmacist, and you give it back, and they'll dispose of it appropriately. But there's other medications that you just want to throw away. You don't need any more, and you decide, I'm going to throw them in the trash. There are medications that can be thrown in the trash. In fact, most medications can be thrown in the trash, but there's a way of doing it. The FDA recommends that when you throw, say, some pills away, that you take those pills and you mix them with something that no one would ever want to eat. Something like coffee grounds. That's one thing they recommend. That's the one I like. You take used coffee grounds and you put them in a Ziploc bag. You take the medications you don't want anymore, you put them in there, you close it up, no one's going to want to eat that, and you throw it in the trash. Maybe you're a cat lover. Kitty litter. If you get kitty litter, we all know nobody wants to eat kitty litter, put it in a Ziploc bag, Take your medications, put it in with the kitty litter, wrap it up, and throw it in the trash. The thing to remember is this. If you then want to throw away your empty pill bottles, remove any identifying information from your pill bottles so people can't get that. Well, you might be saying to yourself, what medications can I flush down the toilet? The FDA recommends that medications to flush down the toilet are painkillers and control substances. Medications like Percocet, Vicodin, Morphine, Dilaudid, Demerol, Fentanyl, or Oxycontin are just a few of the medications that you can flush down the toilet safely. It's recommended that you do flush twice and it's also recommended that pain patches that you use also be flushed down the toilet. If you have any more questions about the disposal of medications, feel free to visit www.fda.gov. Thank you.